Hello and welcome back to Coating Gaming. We are here on Football Manager 20 for episode 11 of our 1860 Munich series. As you can see from the league table down here, we are still sitting pretty in first position. Um, three points clear of second place Braunschweig. Um, and yeah, things have been going quite well. Uh, since you last uh, met us with the 1-1 Osnabrück game, we won against Kalser Slaughton 2-0. Why does it not give me that one? Um, yet with Fkan and Sam Hughes scoring. Why is his name Sam Hughes? <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I just might be. It might be just the goal scorer gives their full name. Uh, either way, yeah. So, so two 0 win against Kaiser Slaughter and Fkan Sam Hughes. Wurzburg with a single goal from Daniel Steiniger to give a one 0 win away from home. There, then we played a friendly against Nuremberg two with a two 0 win. Daniel Steiniger again continuing his rich reign of, vein of form with two goals, 80th minute and 94th minute, and then we won two one against Ingolstadt, which was a top of the table clash that one. Uh, Greeley go with the early goal, Johan with the second, and then a late scare um, with the goal start scoring in the 89th minute. But today we face Bayern 2, 8th position with Bayern 2, and then 16th Munster. Things are going very, very well. As you can see, the uh, board love me, A plus um, manager performance, and hopefully it can still continue. Um, Nothing's much changed apart from the highest average rating is now Drezel. Um, most of sits is Etienne because he, he he's our crosser of the ball from deep, from like corners and free kicks from deep. He is the person taking it, and he's been getting quite a lot of assists from our defenders scoring headers. But this is the tactic we will be using today. It's the normal four-one-four-one DM wide. With Joel in goal, Etienne, Batiste and Hughes. I've swapped them round recently because Batiste is slightly a bit better on his left foot. Um, Schultz rounding out the defence. Erdman at the base in midfield with Efkan and Drezel in front of him. Grieliger and Johan on the wings and Steiniger up front. Everything is looking pretty good. Their condition and sharpness looking great. To be fair, apart from some of the people that are injured or have been injured recently, um... We've been we've got quite a good quite a good match sharpness. Um, the friendlies for international breaks is actually working out quite well for us, keeping our fitness levels up. And um, yeah, let's uh, try and make a, a a good 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 game of it today against uh, against Bayern Bayern two. They haven't got um, Fetty up this season up front, I don't believe. So uh, hopefully we'll be able to do a bit better. Um, passionately say, let's give a. Let's, what did I say? Let's give the fans a performance they are expecting of us here. Everyone's looking great, apart from a couple of them. So those ones, I will say, there's a lot more to come from you. And let's do the custom tactics. Close everyone down and whatnot. Before I actually do anything, you need to be hard tackled here. There you go. As we they kick off from left to right in their normal red kit and it's in our white away kit i believe it's an away kit as we've got a corner in the second minute greeliger to take he whips the ball in near post we don't quite get it but drezel picks it up at the edge of the box greeliger is now through on goal and somehow scores in the near post or past the keeper at this near post honestly thought greeliger might have been offside there but the uh, near post routine is actually coming in clutch again. Drizzle with a nice pass. He's clearly onside and then beats the keeper at the near post. How unfortunate for him. Now, they are <clears throat> sort of dominating possession. Well, it's, it's roughly 50-50, but we are currently peppering them with shots. So I'm going to praise them. I continue to have to check if we're on the right highlight reel. Uh, we will close him down. Etienne now with a throw-in on this side. Efkan picks it up. Back to Etienne. Back to Batiste. That is a very far forward from the ball-playing centre-back. Schultz now picks it up on this far side. Can he cross it in? Beats one man. Crosses it in. Steiniger is there. And it's just wide by the... I say just wide. It's well wide by Steiniger. He's having a decent game. Johan and Efkan, not that much. 
Everyone's been really putting in some really poor performances recently. And this is no exception. We need to guard against complacency. I think I'm going to take Afghan off. We've got Rocker on the uh, on the bench. Swap them around. Drezel can be the more attacking player and Rocker the deep line playmaker because he plays it perfectly. <clears throat> and Efkan is potentially going to lose his, his place here. How old is Rocker? Rocker is a year younger than him. Not quite as good currently, but with the potential to be just as good. So uh, Efkan needs to needs to make sure he doesn't lose his place here. He needs to put up some more good performances like we saw from him last season. As we are playing the playing football quite well here, playing the ball around their midfield area. Rocker is under a bit of pressure here. He needs to pass the ball, which he does. He finds Hughes back to Rocker into Erdman. What can we do here? Over the top to Drezel. Drezel is through on goal and... Oh my God, I thought that was in. He has smashed that so high and wide. As Rocker has just given the ball away to Bayern at the edge of the halfway line. We are pressing quite well and we've forced them to go back to their keeper. Who I'm pretty sure is meant to be the best keeper in the, in the league currently. But they go long ball over the top and they're working it quite well here. We've missed a tackle there. It's through on goal. Schultz manages to get the rebound from Joel and pass it out for a corner. But we have got a lot of pressure coming on us now. So they've got a corner. They go back post. We clear it just at the edge of the box. They have a shot and it goes over the bar. It's coming thick and fast here. I'm going to go cautious here. <clears throat> Whatever they've done, they are putting us under a lot more pressure this half. And they are properly going for it, and I don't want to concede. So they whip the ball in. We clear it, but not very far, and Schultz manages to make a sliding block. And they have the ball again, but we are pushing them back towards the uh, centre circle now. So they are keeping it well, and the highlight does end there. Uh, I'm going to demand more. Etienne has a free kick here. He goes for the shot. He goes for another shot again, and the keeper manages to catch it midair. I've demanded more from them. They're all focused. Don't know what sort of substitutions to make here. I don't know if I'm going to make any. Because currently everything's going well. As Johan picks the ball up, Drezel into Greeliger. What can we do here? He beats one man. He's through on goal. He has a tame shot. And the keeper picks it out of the air. As they have made their first substitution. I'm going to bring on Heimer on the pitch for Johan. Give him a bit more game time there. And potentially Etienne to come off. He has got a yellow card. Right, let's waste time frequently. And then I'm going to bring on Etienne off on the 85th minute. Fabian on. And it does look like, from all of his purposes, that we have just ground out this 1-0 win. There's 30 seconds left on the clock, and they have a free kick in deep in their half. They go long, but Hughes picks it up. Rocker now into Erdman, and we are playing it quite well. As Richards fouls him, and he's getting sent off in the 94th minute. There's a bit of frustration there. And it does look like we are going to win 1-0 against our bitter rivals, Bayern Munich. Two. It's Bayern. <laughs> For all intents and purposes, it's Bayern Munich. We've got the same badge. Same badge. They haven't, they, same badge and kit. That's about it. But either way, we, we win 1 0 with the early three minutes. 87 minutes we defended that lead. That was great. Uh, it's important now to switch our focus in the next match and not become complacent. It wasn't the greatest performance in the world. So, yeah, we need to focus on our next match, which is now Munster, who are currently sitting in 16th position. If we might have a six-point lead at the top of the table if things go our well with Braunschweig. But we will join you in the next game against Munster. We are back for the Munster game. There is no changes that I can see I want to make. <laughs> so the formation and... and 
first 11 is Joel in goal, Etienne Batiste Hughes in shorts in the defence, Erdman, Efkan and Drezel in the midfield, Grieliger, Johan and Steiniger as our front three. We should be able to, to win this game quite considerably. So let's uh, let's go and go and take them down. They are sixteenth, I believe. Still, still sixteenth. Oh, and we also now do have um, a six-point gap at the top of the table, which is great. Just as we are going into the part of the season where we have more of an easier sort of run of games against so-called lesser teams. So we have a real good chance of solidifying our spot at the top of the table. But first we need to do a good job against Munster today. As we are at home, they are in their red kit, our white kit. Must be our home kit then. I'm, I'm going to check here. No. no, can I? Oh, it is our home kit. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I thought it was our away kit. Um, so yeah, we're in our home kit. Which is the the right the white kit shooting from right to left, as there was a little bit of early pressure on their keeper. But Joel now has a goal kick into Batiste, back to Erdman to Joel. We go long to Johan, which is bypassed their press, which is great. Uh, Johan just passes it to them, and as you can see, Steinhardt makes his eighteen sixteen Munich return um, with Munster. Sold him at the end of the last season too, and we low. Yeah, we sold them too. He wasn't one of the loan to buys that we had. But Johan now at the edge of their box back to Schultz. Can we deal with this? He goes inside to Drezel, into into Johan. He gets past <laughs> Jesus Christ, he goes past one and fires it into the far corner. And that is another goal for Johan and another assist for Drezel. This is just beautiful play here. Schultz but Schultz back to Drezel on the edge of the box. Nice ball into Johan, who beats Steinhardt and <laughs> fires it into the far corner. Not a good return for Steinhardt already, but we do take the lead. And uh, I will praise them a bit here. They don't seem to care. No, they do. No, some of them are alright. As Munster's team talk has inspired them, or Shout has inspired them. I think we'll start losing 2 0 now. Jesus Christ, everything's kicking off here. There's nothing really happening. Let's get a bit creative here. Let's up the tempo a bit. It is, they are playing a 4-4-2. Johan is getting a bit tired. What is his fitness? Well, like, his natural fitness is 14. But his stamina is 7. Yeah. That would explain it. Why he's always the first one to get tired. As we now have a corner far side. It's Etienne to take. Aims for the near post. Johan gets his head on it, but it goes well over the bar. As we do a hit half time, 1 0 up. Again, a third minute goal. You have played well so far. but I want you to play better. We need a second goal. I don't want it to go down to a nervy finish like it did with um, with Bayern in the last game. So we need to make this convincing. They are lower in the table. We need to make it clear that we are top here. And we are top for a reason. It's not just a good run of games and a, like a good well, luck. I guess as Etienne goes for the corner again, we go near post, but he comes all the way out to Fcan. What can he do here? He slides the ball in, trying to find Steinhardt, but we get it back. And Drezel now back out to Etienne. He's on the wrong side, so he's going to be a bit iffy with him crossing. He's going to have to cut back. He goes past one. Johan's there. Steinhardt has another shot. As Steinhardt smashes it out for the corner. Thank you very much. And Etienne to take again on this near side. Oh, it almost falls for us, but that is the end of the highlights. Fcan yet again having a absolute poor game. Right, Rocker comes on. Uh, Johan is a bit tired, so we'll bring him off and give Heimer 30 minutes in the position I want him to. 
Grilliger and Stein, Steiniger having bad games as well. As I think oh, Schultz is tiring. I think I'm going to leave them on. They've got a little bit better there. I'm going to have to make Schultz as the final decision, their final substitution. Oh, easy him off it. Yeah, Look, let's get Schultz off. Fabian on, as he can play both sides. He actually is better as a complete wing back here. But I, I don't know if that's going to screw up some of my form, for some of my tactics. So Schultz off and Fabian on, just trying to see out this game. And it does look like it's going to be. Am, am I on extended? I am on extended highlights. As they have a goal kick. We've won it back there as they go along with Erdman. As we go over the top, Heimers to chase. The keeper should have that easy enough. But is he going to kick it straight into him? Oh, no, he doesn't. And can we? Oh, they've gone. They've gone past Fabian straight away. But that was a good. Who blocked that? A rocker with a nice block there, doing his defensive duties. Very well covering on this side as they have a corner, but we managed to clear it and Steininger picks it up on this near side into Hughes and we suddenly have a corner Heimer to take as Batiste goes for a head of the from a long way out and their keeper picks it out of the air. The suddenly highlight central in this final three minutes of the game. We are a frequently time waste. As we go over the top to Grilly, can he seal this within? He can't. He does pick the ball up again and... Can't control it first time as their defender clears it away for a throw in on the far side. Still a minute left of this game. So there is potential for us to score a second or them to equalise. But Etienne has it now. He goes inside and he's given the ball away and it, it suddenly looks like they have a counter attack going. Erdman picks the ball up and suddenly we do. Nope, we just lump it long, get it gone. As I am going to go balanced or def defensive, sorry. And we need to, to just seal this 1-0. Dressel picks it up. We might actually get a second here. As Oh, my God. Referee. Referee. <laughs> Steininger was in. But another third minute 1-0 win there. It's almost like I planned that. That was... I'm actually going to say... I'm going to say we were poor. We needed to beat them more convincingly than that. But we are still top of the table. And we are now seven points clear. Eight point. Jesus Christ, what am I talking about? Eight points clear now. What is happening? <laughs> We're now comfortably eight points clear of any team that can get there. This is incredible. We are just... Because we haven't lost the game. We're just, we're just running away with it currently. So let's see where you will join us next. I will play Rostock... Mannheim and Arken. Oh, that is going to be a very good game. And you'll come back for the favourites to win the league at the start of the season, Grutha Firth and Duisburg, who are quite high up. So yeah, we've got we've got two games which should be two wins. Arken will be hard. Well, it's, it's three games, three hard games after that. But we'll be at home to Grutha Firth in the next game, next episode. If you have enjoyed the episode, make sure you click the like button, comment, and subscribe. If you do end up subscribing, make sure you click the notification bell to stay up to date with everything on the channel. But until next time, goodbye.